Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. We've changed locations. Took an eight hour sleeper bus, ended up here, I guess, north of Saigon, central Vietnam, in Da Lat. Very nice place. Right now, currently walking to a coffee shop I was suggested to, I was suggested by my hostel owner. It's about a 12 minute walk. And then from there, I might go see a couple sites, do a couple things. I'm actually waiting for some friends from my last hostel that I was at. And I think tomorrow we're all gonna go explore together as well. Check out the garden over here. This, uh, this is like a little alleyway, I guess you can say, or like a side street. Um, so sometimes whenever you're following your GPS, it's gonna tell you to take a, uh, it's gonna tell you to make a left or right. And it's gonna look like, you know, you're going down an alleyway, but sure enough, it will lead you to, you know, one of these streets. So don't be nervous, just go for it. Everyone here has been super nice, very helpful. Um, even if you don't speak English, they will use uh, Google Translate, so that's always good. Make sure you have it downloaded on your phone as well. Last night I was walking around just to get a lay of the land. I'll tell you what, arriving here, I, well, I'm, I'm not sure. I should have done more research as far as like, is this a city or is this a, like what type of province this is? But last night when I was arriving, it was booming telling you right now it was jumping jumping and uh, there were so many people out I was like I, I just I guess maybe because it was a Saturday but I'm wondering if it's like that every night I don't know I'm gonna see tonight I walked around a little night market maybe I'll take you guys there tonight but for now I'll just give you a couple of my first impressions I'll take you guys around see some things Right now we're heading to coffee. And as you walk down these alleys, you're gonna see houses, businesses, things of that sort. And like I said, everyone is very hospitable, very nice. So there's no reason to be scared or shy, you know, when you're coming around here. And it's like I've said previously in uh, some of my other videos or on some of my other social media, websites make sure you guys uh, learn a little bit of the language hello it's sin chao depending who you're talking to a man it could be chao an a woman chao ko someone the same age as you chao ba and i believe younger is chao m but please correct me in the comments thank you kam un or come on not like come on it's not like come on Come on, you know, they really, really like it when you make an effort to learn some Vietnamese. So don't be shy, don't be shy. And sometimes by doing that, the people see you're trying to make an effort, they might invite you for dinner, invite, invite you to show you some new things show you local recommendations that they probably wouldn't show other people, which is where I'm going now. So, it's time to break out of our comfort zones as that's what this channel is about. I'm just a dude stepping outside of my comfort zone. This seems to be like the main sh street. Well, this is not a, the main main street, but this is, you know, one of the streets, obviously you could see it's busy heavily populated with businesses and whatnot it's very nice it's so beautiful over here so there's so many uh so many food places so many coffee shops lots of shoes uh, merchandise like you know you got your appliance shop right here you have uh bike rentals you can come over here you can rent bikes the lot has, uh, I believe there's, there, there's quite a few things to do here for like tourists and stuff like that or sightseeing. Um, if you're staying at a hostel, I know they'll offer some like 
tour packages or whatever you guys want to do. You got your fixing your motorcycles here. So if you need your bike fixed, you can come here. Xin chào. So I'm the only black person I've seen over here so far, but that doesn't bother me at all. I've, I've had no issue. That's one thing that I'm trying to, it's uh, another thing I'm trying to like promote is uh, a lot of people are like, you know, being African American or black, I'm nervous if I could travel to these countries and certain things like that. And you guys, how would you know if you've never been? You, you, you don't. How do we know things if we've never experienced them? He might give you, or she might give you, their interpretation of the situation. But is it real? Did you experience it for yourself firsthand? Because I can tell you, right now, it's perfectly fine. I think my SD card shut off for a second, I had to change it, but as I was saying, yeah, you guys, if you're African-American, black, whatever, don't be scared to travel. Gain the experience for yourself. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't go there, you can't do this, you know what I mean? You can do whatever you want. That's why I'm out here right now showing you that. So, I think I have, I have about a five more minute walk. Should be at the end of this road. And uh, I believe where I'm going to, uh, the hostel owner told me that like they make coffee there. Um, like the whole, like the coffee beans, ground beans, all that, like the whole production goes on over there. So I don't know, maybe we'll, will I show you guys that? I don't know. Will I show you me sitting down, just drinking a coffee, ordering? Possibly. <laughs> when, I, when I make these videos, you guys, sometimes I have an idea of like what I'm gonna do. I never know what I'm gonna say. I know that I wanna go see certain things. Uh, most of the time I look up like research into them so that way I can give you guys some information but for the most part I just wing these videos obviously you see youtubers who come here and like oh they go to the night market and this that and like yeah I'm gonna go to the night market and I'm gonna do certain things like that but I don't know anything about it it's not like I planned how I'm gonna move around this city or anything like that so we have about four minutes left so once I get closer to the destination, I'll make sure to uh, I'll make sure to bring you guys back with me. Everywhere, everywhere, businesses. Call. You can never, you can never go hungry here. You can never go thirsty here. There's something for everyone here. One thing about Vietnam is they are famous for their coffee and tea. So. If you come here, you need to make sure you get Vietnamese coffee and tea, uh, among other things. Famous for so many other things as well, but right now, we're getting coffee. I believe the place I'm looking for is right up here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys inside. Xin chào. I'm going to take you guys inside with me. We will grab a coffee. I might try something different. Usually I get cafe sur, which is like coffee and milk. Maybe I'll try cafe den or cafe, I think it's called cafe den, which is like black coffee. Or maybe I'll try something completely different, I'm not sure. I believe the place should be right here. Yeah, I think it's this building right here. Let's take you guys inside. Oh, this might be it right here. When you cross the street in Vietnam, it's okay, just cross. They're gonna go around you. It might be this place over here. I'm actually a little bit confused as to which one I should walk into. I'm really not sure. This place looks really nice. Xin chào. I can order coffee from here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, go to the table. Okay, thank you. All right. As you can see, we have a big selection of coffee over here. 
told me to come sit down at the table. So I'll come over here. I think you could buy some merch. La Viet Coffee, or La Viet Coffee, I believe is uh, maybe this coffee brand. Maybe I should just show you guys. You have Cafe Arabica. It's pretty good, all different types. Hello, oh, okay, I'll come sit down. He was waiting for me, I don't want to keep him waiting. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, I... Uh, Gato y Mok Cafe Suo? Yeah. Uh, ice, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna get the uh, coffee with milk, but that's exactly what I did. So if you check it out, maybe these are the type of things that you can order here. So I'll let you guys look at the menu really quick. Cha is tea, charchada. Interesting. Ooh, taro milk tea. That looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a coffee and then I think I'm gonna go to one of the uh, sites over there. I think it's called like Happy Buddha. So, in, in Vietnam, the main, main religion I believe is Buddhism. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. So I asked the uh, I asked the kid who brought over my coffee how long this place has been here. He says ten years, so it's quite a long time. Sometimes when you uh, ask them, you know, ask certain people questions and they don't speak English, they're gonna, you know, they're they're a little shy. So seems like they have a massive production going on though. They, I think, I don't I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Let me know. La Viet Coffee. La. No, I should know that. The, the accent above the A, I think, makes it long. La Viet. I think it's La Viet. So, come on. Thank you. Mm, very good. So it seems like they're packaging up their stuff over here. People, this is probably a huge operation. People, um, I guess you can order order your coffee from here. So if you, uh, <laughs> if you want some coffee from this place, I don't know, I'll ask him the website, but I'm assuming maybe it's La Viet, La Viet Coffee. And whenever you come to Vietnam, you will always get a complimentary tea, cha da, wherever you go, so. This one's cold, which is okay. Um, earlier I had it hot, but this is a very nice building. You have your artwork over there. I wonder if it's locals who make those or the people who own this place. Nice. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then maybe I can go over there and uh, give you guys one of my tours, a small tour or something like that. <laughs> okay. Back on road, back on road. That coffee was really, really good. Uh, I believe that, I could be wrong, I believe that's a family business though. It might be. Um, but, Sin Chao, I believe that's a family business. But, uh, you know what? I've been wanting to try this. I've been wanting to try this right here. I might have to sit down. This Gom Tam. I've been wanting to eat this. But, this is what it is right here, pork over broken rice. So I might come in and sit down while I, before, cause it's raining right now. So I might sit down, have a meal, and then uh, I'll take you guys to the next location. I'm not sure which one, I think this is the one I want. Kom Son Bi Cha Trong. I'm not, a, oh actually I think this one. Kom Su Bi Cha. I don't know. Xin chào. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can ask. Maybe sometimes when you come up here, they'll go get someone who speaks English. You know what I mean? And then they'll come back. And uh, but maybe, maybe he's just going to get something. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. I think they're shy. Can I order? <laughs> so, this is a good good dish right here, though. You can see the pork over here. Hello. Can I? Uh, this is a kom tam. But is 
This one. Is that this? Yeah, can I have one more? Okay. Okay, thank you. So you see we got our pork belly over our broken rice. We have our cucumbers, your green onions. I had this dish once before, but I didn't record it. So here I am. You have your broken rice over here. I'm super excited. This apparently is like a very, very uh, authentic dish. I'm not sure which region it's from. I believe it is from the southern region. Um, but once I get it, I'll make sure to show you guys. This is gonna be an excellent, excellent meal. And this place looks very, very nice. Every place you come to has its own aesthetic. Own aesthetic. So we just went from coffee to tom tam. And that's one thing about Vietnam is that when you go to eat food, some places will sell drinks and food and some places will only sell food. So make sure you get your drink before you go get your food. And you're always gonna find the traditional red chairs. So if you're a big guy like myself, well, I could fit on these ones, but there's ones that are smaller. Uh, my friend um, the other day is from the UK, kid 6'5". We went to go eat bun chow, and uh, he couldn't even sit on the chair. <laughs> we had to stand up and eat it, so. Yeah, but I'm really excited about this kom tam dish. I heard that it's, uh, I heard that it's, it's really good. And this one right here looks very, very authentic as opposed to the one I had the other day. So I'm pretty excited. Xin chào. Uh, ten, ten bạc là gì? Juan. Juan? Oh, tôi tên là Sai. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like I said, gotta get in with the locals, you guys. So once the dish comes up, I'll make sure to show you guys. Fish sauce. <laughs> oh, I pour it over, right? Okay. It's supposed to, so, nyuk man, fish sauce. This looks really good. Oh my God, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. All right, all right you guys, I'm gonna come back because I have to take a video for Instagram. So I'll be right back. I'm back. I had to, um, I had to make a little IG video. Right here you have your hmm, soup broth. Very good. I'm not an expert with the chopsticks yet, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna embarrass myself on YouTube. But by the time I leave Vietnam, you guys will be seeing me eat with chopsticks. So we have our pork. I believe this is possibly tofu. Hmm. And this is the rice. You have your carrots, onion, I believe this is like pork skin of some sort, but you got your green onions. My God. This right here is almost just like a meal we would eat back in America. Mm. Get the rice mix with the pork. You probably have to eat it like all in one together. I'm not sure, but that's how I'm gonna go. Should I? I mix it. I'm supposed to mix it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to mix it all. <laughs> okay. Put the milk mom. Mm. I don't know if they're laughing because I'm making a video or because I'm not eating this the right way. I'm gonna put this camera down. And I'll see you guys like this. Let me break this up so I can put the pork over the rice. That's how I would eat it back home. So. It's very good. Cucumbers, excellent. I see a lot of strawberries being sold on the street too. I think this region is known for having really, really good strawberries. So that's interesting. I'm gonna try some of those tonight at the night market. Mm. That pork with the rice, with the carrot, 
ton of onions. There might be a little coriander in here too. Complements it so well. Especially with the green onions. Such a good meal. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna finish this. And then I'll take you guys with me. I don't wanna get copywritten. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of raining outside, so my first impressions video didn't really go as planned, you guys. I'm so sorry about that. But I did take you to get some coffee, and then I took you to a small little local well, restaurant, I guess you can say, for some comtam, which was very, very good. Um, the people here are very friendly. As you can see, there's many businesses everywhere. Like uh, the lot, I thought it was gonna be kind of like when I went to India, like Leh, Ladakh, like uh busy but not as populated but this is very very populated a lot of people here so that's very nice i like that i'm sorry um i couldn't you know take you around through the whole city but it's raining out i walked outside unprepared but i didn't come to vietnam unprepared i have my rain pants with me and I have a raincoat as well in my bag so I think September to October is actually rainy season in Vietnam so if you come here during that time make sure you're aware of that and you bring the proper gear that you need like I said sorry I couldn't show you guys everything I probably didn't do this video justice but first impression so far is it's really great people are hospitable as they are everywhere so thank you guys for watching and Maybe I'll take you guys to the night market tonight if it's not raining. I'm still waiting for my friends to get in here from, uh, they're coming from Moine. They're coming from Moine. From a lot of people, I heard that uh, you can like skip Moine, come to Dala or skip Dala and go to Moine. But for me, I skipped Moine and I came to Dala. So that's where I am right now. My room is kind of looking kind of crazy. I don't even want to show you guys that, but life of a backpacker. I actually need to get some laundry done while I'm here too. That's another thing too, there's laundry services all around here, even in this uh, hotel, family hostel owned. Um, they, they have laundry services here. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Maybe it's like a 25,000 Vietnamese dong per kilogram or something of the sort. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Every place is different as well. Um, if I bring my laundry, maybe I'll take you guys with me and I'll show you that, so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my first impressions video of the lot. It's absolutely beautiful here, even in the rainy season. And um, stick around for more adventures. Thank you very much. Catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.